how many steps do I take when I mow our lawn? I'm gonna try tracking it using my cell phone. Here's what the lawn looks like at the start of my lawn mowing. You'll see that I'm using the Scott's Classic Push Reel Lawn Mower. I love it. You should try one. And here's what the lawn looks like before in the front yard, before I start mowing it. Okay, I'm done mowing my lawn and here's the tally. 0.85 miles and 2,595 steps, so almost 2,600 steps. This is awesome. That's one of the benefits of this lawn mower. You can actually burn calories while you're mowing your lawn. Uh, but there are other benefits as well. You know, it's low maintenance, it's quiet, it's um, organic. You've got the ability to leave the clippings onto the yard as you mow the lawn, which is healthy because it returns the nitrogen back into the lawn. And uh, it's got a height adjustability, so you can uh, cut your lawn higher or lower depending on the seasons. I like to try to cut the lawn as, as tall as possible and much higher in the summers. And um, it's super low maintenance. There's no gasoline, no noise. You know, you just clean it up a little bit, brush off the grass and add a little WD-40. Or actually today, I'm gonna try uh, using vegetable oil to just touch the touch points, make sure that it moves smoothly. And uh, I was just talking to one of my neighbors. This year, I was able to convince him to use the same lawnmower. He got the new Scott's push reel lawnmower. So, so far, he loves it, he loves it. To put that amount of steps in perspective, when you buy a Fitbit, they encourage you to do 10,000 steps for the day. So at 2,600 steps, I'm just a little bit over a quarter of that target. And I've got a modest lot. For those of you who have larger lots, you can take more steps and burn more calories while you're using a push reel lawnmower. And um, that was me going horizontally on the lawn for the first pass. And then the second pass, I was going on the lawn vertically up and down. Uh, so I'm basically making two passes over the grass. Um, you know, when you use a uh, powered lawnmower, you, you probably only need one pass, but like I said, there's cons to that. It's louder, it uses gasoline, uh, it doesn't cut the grass as cleanly, it actually mushes the grass, whereas the push wheel lawnmower cuts it like a pair of scissors. Here's what my lawn in the backyard looks like after I've uh, done lawn mowing. It looks great, the lawnmower cuts it really nice and cleanly like a pair of scissors. And here's what my lawn in the front yard looks like after I've mowed it. And by the way, while I'm here, let me show you in, Daphne's got this wreath on our door and we just noticed this yesterday, but a bird formed a little nest here and we're waiting for these eggs to hatch. That's what's great about having an organic lawn. If you've got an organic lawn, you don't use pesticide, you don't use herbicide. So a lot of the, the life, you know, the birds, the worms, um, I see rabbits all around. I see, we had one day where we had a ton of turkeys come here and just settle in our backyard. It's organic, it's natural. You know, if you put pesticide and herbicide, the birds won't, don't want to come. Um, they may come, they might, they'll come less, so. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I've got other videos on my organic lawn care playlist. Thanks.